So, um, Falcon tube or uterine tubes, they're called salpangis. You have the word salpangitis from it. So you have is you have to assess the body or the fungus of the uterus, and laterally you're going to find a little line, a little crevasse, a little um, space there, and you have different parts of the falcon tube. You have the intramural or interstitial inside the body of the uterus. Then it gets it's a smaller part called the isthmus, and then you have the ampulla, and then you have the fringes of the fibria. And here, really in the intra-uteral portion and she has a tiny 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 twist there we're going to do lympho fascia release and here we go she has different area where she drains the lymph and relax now we check absolutely no pull now you feel it? You feel yeah, it? better what was it pulling on your occiput on your head? well my head would want to do this so my whole body would want to pull down but the problem is also so I go further down, there's nothing. Now, I'm gonna go on the ovary laterally, and I'm gonna to try to see if one of the fibria is, so I am on fallopian tube, if one of the fibria is connected with the ovary, here it is, fibria ovarica, pulling my two fingers together. That's the one fibria that connects with the, with the ovary. I already put off, here it is, Point of balance, and then the lymph is going to the internal iliac nodes. That was a very strong pull that you had there too. And you take a deep breath; is good. And I recheck. No more pull. Intra fallopian tube is cool. there's no tension, and especially I um, pay attention to that intramural portion. Pretty relaxed. Just when I'm here. I'm going to check if the intestine around are doing any kind of pull, the small intestine, but they're not. Oh, very. So we're good. We're done with the fallopian tube.